It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the Silver Bridge Collapse. By the early 20th century, I-bar bridges had been around for 100 years, using iron, which reacted badly to nature's elements. But the advent of steel revived the design. I-bars could be molded beams with hoops at the ends to be fastened together and attached to rocking towers. In the 1920s, Point Pleasant's new bridge was an I-bar chain design by the J.E. Griner Company of Baltimore and constructed by the American Bridge Company of Pittsburgh, both having American landmarks to their credit. The new structure opened in 1928, named the Silver Bridge for the aluminum paint that adorned it, and nicknamed the Gateway to the South. It opened with a grand ceremony, marred by a thunderstorm that now seems to be a dark ogre. On December 15, 1967, the Silver Bridge was filled with holiday traffic Designed for Model Ts, the bridge was now bearing heavier cars and commercial trucks. At 5 p.m., the bridge suddenly collapsed. In mere seconds, car lights were seen in the river, sinking to the bottom, and pandemonium overtook both sides of the muddy Ohio. Rescuers worked into the night, and divers spent the next week recovering all but two of the 46 people lost in the worst bridge disaster in American history. Analysis of the bridge pieces revealed a minor defect only 0.1 inches in one of the eye bars attached to the tower. Stress and corrosion caused it to fail. And unlike the Three Sisters bridges in Pittsburgh, the silver bridge design used single eye bars instead of multiples, which eliminated the needed design redundancy the collapse compelled Congress to create the first National Bridge Inspection Program, making America's transportation safety the Silver Bridge tragedy's silver lining.